Hey, what is up, everybody? It's Damron. We're playing Halo Spartan Assault. We're on the final operation, Operation F Hydra. So let's jump right into it. We'll look at the assault ops. We have to kill five shade turrets with a magnum, kill 20 elites with frag grenades, and kill 60 covenant with the brute shot. As I've mentioned in the prior videos, I'm not using any of my XP for score boosters because I'm showing you that you can get gold star on all the levels without any score booster. But if you have trouble with a particular level, you may want to use an XP to grab a score booster. And this particular mission right here is one of the more challenging ones to get a gold star on without that score booster. In fact, the most critical part of this mission is the very, very beginning. And it's stringing all of these grunts together as well as the shade turret right here so you see i kind of use that and you'll see right up here i kind of delay killing this grunt right here until the last possible second so i can keep my killionaire spree going and move over to these left-sided enemies and you can see i'm still actually getting killionaires on these sets of enemies that are just spawning in one of the things that you're going to see happen sometimes is your marines will actually steal kills from you and that'll actually interrupt your killing spree but you can see right in that beginning section i was able to get 80,000 points right off the bat just stringing all of that together and once you've done that around this score that I have now you're pretty much good to go now there are two t uh, shade turrets right here on the left damage them a little bit obviously finish them off with the pistol so you can work on the assault ops to kill five shade turrets with a magnum you're also going to have to kill 20 elites with frags as I mentioned but the one that's really going to slow you up on this particular mission is killing 60 covenant with the brute shot because the brute shot is only going to be coming in one location and that's going to be north of this first kind of anti-air defense that you breach and destroy so we've destroyed that and actually if i go straight north from right here there's going to be a small pathway that connects this air defense to the next one and these jetpack brutes are jumping up here these are the guys where you're going to get your brute shot so once you kind of come up here or once you finish your golden star whatever you can just keep running up here and getting that brute shot from that jetpack brute as he's jumping up here and then just try to kill as many enemies as you can before your time runs out so that's also the other thing to think about in this mission you want to utilize as much of the time as you can so you essentially have to destroy the two different air defenses and you can see the second door is right here to my right i'm gonna go ahead and kind of blow it up but i'm not going to go in it until like the last possible second because i want to be able to kill as many reinforcements as i can and working on that gold star again this is a pretty challenging mission to get the gold star on but like i said you know this may be a mission that you want to use your xp to go ahead and grab that score boost we're at the very end of the you know game we're on the last operation so if you've been following my guide you should have plenty of xp by this point so again feel free to go ahead and grab that score boost and finish it off so essentially now what I'm trying to do is just maximize the amount of brute shot kills that I can get I'm pretty good on the score um, go in here and blow this up now once you blow this up reinforcements will stop coming in enemies will stop spawning and what you have to do at this point it'll give you a pretty good amount of timer though but you essentially have to kill the remaining forces that are here including a wraith that comes in to the right now ideally what you want to do is damage this enough so that your grenade will kill it instead of what happened right here the grenade just doesn't kill it and the elite pops out and the mission ends because I didn't actually blow up the wraith um, but nonetheless I still get the high score it's not too bad but it is a little bit challenging it's really all about that initial section you saw 80,000 of my points right in the beginning so let's go ahead and go to f2 breach of the bulwark in this mission we have to kill 10 ghosts with a grizzly kill 20 suicide grunts with a scorpion and kill 60 covenant with a ghost this mission is awesome obviously with the assault option you know we're going to get a grizzly tank so that's super fun let's get right into it again no score boosters we don't really care about the weapons that we spawn with this mission this is a vehicle mission the first thing that you want to do though is go ahead and shoot this scorpion in front of you your ally if you don't, oftentimes that scorpion will kind of take kills from you. We don't want to deal with that. So also that will notice a park scorpion behind us. I just kind of shot it at that. You don't have to kill that one. But for the assault ops that requires you to get kills with the, you know, with the scorpion tank, just instead of running with the grizzly tank in the mission, just hop in that scorpion and go through the mission with that. So that's pretty much that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be running through with the grizzly tank for our gold star run. 
so we're just going to be basically going as fast as we can destroying everything and with the grizzly tank this is pretty easy this is a very easy mission to get the gold star on especially if you're rolling around in the tank where this thing becomes a little bit difficult is trying to get all of those ghost kills what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to hop out of the tank you're going to have to maybe shoot a ghost with a plasma pistol to get the elite to jump out and then you can take that ghost and you have to kill 60 covenants with a ghost for the assault ops so the assault ops are a little bit like you're not really going to be able to work on the assault ops and the gold star at the same time so your best bet is come in here go crazy with the grizzly tank and then come back in for the scorpion tank and then come back in for the ghost kills doing those separately there's not really any way to work on those and do the gold star at the same time so you can see what i'm doing is i'm pretty much just laying waste i'm not making you know i'm not really wasting any time i'm going to destroy you know the mega turrets as fast as possible so i've already killed three of them and you'll notice like i'm it looks like i'm pretty low in the score there's only one mega turret left and you're at 64,000. but as long as you once you've kind of taken out those first three when you progress up to the northern portion of the map you're initially going to have to go right for the fourth mega turret. So if you look at the radar, you can see it's kind of to the northeast of us. But what we actually want to do is go straight north and to the left, right? We want to go west a little bit to this barrier right here. As long as you come up here, there's going to be a bunch of grunts. There's going to be a bunch of elites. There's going to be that wraith that you can kill, a ghost, and a bunch of other stuff that you can string together. And now you can see just in that area right there, now I'm up to 105,000, 108,000 just from that area. So as long as you go to the upper left, you'll be able to get the gold star pretty easily. Just maintain your speed, take out all the mega turrets and blast through F2 and let's get moving on. All right, so F2 is not too bad. That's a super fun level to play. Um, again, I think you'll like using the Grizzly tank. So let's move on to F3, Superstructure Assault. We need to kill 10 Jackals with a Needler, kill 30 Grunts with a Plasma Repeater, and kill 60 Elites with Frag Grenades. Obviously, the 60 Elites with Frag Grenades is going to be the longer of the Assault Ops in this mission. Again, we're going to spawn with a Needler and a Plasma Repeater. So those are the two weapons that we need, um, as well as the Frag Grenades. You're going to start with those two. Um, but in this particular mission, uh, you're going to have a hard time kind of stringing things together for your killing sprees, except for like right in the beginning. You want to kind of string all these enemies in the beginning as best as you can. You can see I already lost it right there, but that's okay. The gold star is not too challenging to get on this level, and I'm just going ahead and working on my assault ops at the same time, right? So I'm using the needler to kill the jackals, and then I'm swapping to the plasma repeater to kill um, the grunts when I can. And then obviously the elites, you have to kill them with a frag grenade. The best way to do that is if you just get a direct hit. If you get a direct hit with a frag grenade, it will instantly blow up. You probably know that by now. We're on the last operation. Uh, but essentially, you want to just kind of get a direct hit with those frags on the elites. Now, with that particular Spartan Ops, essentially, you could start the mission, frag out a couple of them, and just you know basically restart the mission one you know all that stuff is instantly tracked so there's really no reason to play further than the very beginning throw your three frags on those elites and restart the level okay so now once you have uh, kind of cleared out the first set of enemies now you're going to have some enemies spawn in from the right and you're going to have some enemies spawn in from the left ideally you can try to string these together but as long as the you know engineer fixes the light bridge you are good to go you can see actually that elite ended up killing the engineer it's fine he can die after he has fixed it now you just have to wait until that light bridge is actually activated and at this point you're going to have several waves of enemies kind of coming in from the left and the right this is where you really want to do your best to try to get a good killing spree going this is the best part to get your gold star a lot of the enemies that are going to be coming through the right are going to be grunts and jackals so you can take them out pretty quickly and then also about 45 seconds left in the holdout you're going to start getting drones coming in from the north so as long as you kind of string those drones together with the grunts that were coming in on the right you should start stacking a bunch of killionaires on these drones i believe i lost it right here yeah i lost it right there but you can see i'm already up to 87,000. so that's not too bad there is a regen 
perk up there into the northeast that I just picked up. You saw me grab that. Feel free to grab that, you know, if you basically want to, because in this fight, basically you want to keep fighting, right? You don't want to run. You don't want to hide because keeping that killing spree together in this area where you're holding it out is going to be how you get the gold star. So go ahead and wrap up this mission. Once the hard light bridge is activated, there will be a wraith and some things to kill on the other side of the bridge, but nothing too challenging. Go ahead and wrap that up and I'll see you in the next mission. So you can see as long as you're stringing those drones together you're gonna blow that that gold score out of the park easy peasy so let's move on to f4 infiltration of the cistern in this mission we need to kill 10 elites with a shade turret we need to kill 20 stealth elites with melee and then the longer of the three in this particular mission is kill 80 drones with the plasma pistol so that one right there is going to hold you up just because it's kind of a pain to kill them with the plasma pistol and obviously there's not 80 of them in one playthrough but there's a bunch of drones on this level this level is pretty tricky um, you're not going to be able to string a bunch together in the first area so don't worry about your you know score too much here just focus on taking out these stealth elites with melee you don't want to try to get in there and melee them twice and get an assassination because they can double up on you pretty quickly um, you can see there's two of them right here so what I like to do is use my plasma repeater to pop their shields and then as soon as I pop their shields then it's a one melee hit so boom pop the shield and then you can melee them take them down it looks like my but maybe not one hit right there I think I don't know if I missed but usually if you pop their shields you should be able to kill them in one hit so again his shield started recharging back there um, but kind of clear out this little first area of those stealth elites if you kind of progress you know if you just go to the left here initially and don't clear out those stealth elites sometimes they'll come behind you and can cause a problem when you're trying to take out the first you know power core and that over here is right next to our first shade turret and we're going to use this shade turret to kill the 10 elites i'm going to speed this up right here because it's kind of slow you know you'll take out that power core and then a couple waves of elites will come in unfortunately this rock is right in the way but even though this is still the best place to get your elite shade turret kills just kind of take your time sit in here eventually they'll kind of pop you know on one side of the rock or the other and you can kind of work on it and that's only 10 kills so you should be able to finish off that assault ops pretty easily but you can see right here you know I'm, I'm just taking my time even killing the stealth elites that are popping in as well you're gonna have plenty of stealth elites to kill with melee attacks again you only have to do 20 of those and you're gonna have to play this mission a couple times in order to get the 80 drone kills with the plasma pistol so now that we have kind of taken out that I have exchanged uh, and got the plasma pistol you saw I dropped the shotgun for that and essentially now we're gonna make our way to the right hand side of the level and keep an eye out again stealth elites will still be here even though we cleared them out earlier it seems like they kind of like go towards you throughout the mission uh, but as you're progressing right here is one of the areas where a few drones will spawn the best way to take out the drones with the plasma pistol i think um, right here I try it and I miss a bunch but the best way is to do a fully charged plasma shot and you, you know the marines that are with you will kill them uh, if you're not quick enough because the drones are very weak okay but don't worry about that little group there the group that we're gonna focus on is the group of drones that spawn at the second power core which is to the east where I'm heading now so you can see some spawn right here but as you go over to this power core here a bunch of drones are gonna spawn just to the north of it you can see them kind of coming out of that crevice so what you want to do again is fully charge that plasma pistol and as long as you have a fully charged shot and you don't miss like I do all the time uh, it's a one hit kill so basically shoot fully recharge shoot and this is also a great place to work on your gold star 
because the drones have low health, because you're hitting them in one shot, you should be able to string all of these together and get a very nice killing spree and pop off a bunch of Kilimanjaros as you're taking out these drones. And if you do that, you should be in a pretty good place in your gold scores, right? So you can see I'm already up to 82,000. There's a little bit more areas where there's some drones are, but that's the bulk of it. So if you get to the point where the drones is the only thing you have left, you've already got your gold star, and that's the only assault ops you need, just go ahead and head straight east to that power core and take them out and restart the mission. Okay, so that's that's the best place to grind that out. So once you've taken out that power core, then we're going to head up to the north up here to our third and final power core. There's not much that's going to spawn in here when you're taking this out. Just blow it up. You'll have a couple brute chieftains, not chieftains, sorry, just jetpack brutes that spawn in, as well as a few jackals. Not a lot of enemies that are going to spawn here, so you're not really going to be able to get much of a score boost in this particular area just take them out as fast as you can and then once you've taken out all three of those now it tells you to find the door to the shrine and where that's going to be is essentially to the left of the third power core so we're going to take out all the enemies that kind of spawn here again just some brute uh, jetpack brutes and a couple jackals so take all of them out and what we're going to do is we're going to make our way left and as you make your way left you're going to have another group of enemies that spawn right where we had already killed some but it'll be another opportunity for you to kill a couple more drones right here um, so you'll see they'll kind of get a second wave of drones these won't spawn until you've taken out that power core so don't try to wait here the first time uh, so from that head left and we're going to have another group of enemies that we're going to have to deal with and once we've killed them you can see we're pretty good on the score there's also another shade turret here you can try to use this to kill some elites if you want to but I don't recommend it I recommend just using that first area to grind those out again it's only 10 so kill the enemies here and walk forward and we'll be done with this level and we only have one more level in this game in order to do so let's pound this out and let's get going All right, so we're moving on to the final mission in the game, F5, The Source. In this mission, we need to kill 20 elites with an SMG. We need to kill 20 suicide grunts with plasma grenades. And we also have to kill 40 elites with a focus rifle. That one's pretty easy, actually, right in the very beginning of the mission. It's a good opportunity to do that. I'll show you that right here. So let's get in. Obviously, we're not using any score boosters. We're starting with our starting weapons, and we are progressing forward. Just across the first light bridge are two elites that have focus rifles so for this you know the assault tops to kill elites with the focus rifle you can just pick these up and we'll use these throughout the mission to kill the elites that spawn in this mission is not too bad for the gold score you might want to use your XP boost right there's no harm in it at this point you're on the last mission so if you got it you may as well use it but a lot of the points that are going to come in this mission are in the very kind of first you know section because the enemies that are going to spawn in are easy to kill fast to kill including all the drones that are coming up right here in the middle so I want to string all of those together and I'm gonna link them together with the grunts that come in from the bottom right as well as grunts that come in from the bottom left you're gonna have ones that are coming up from the north as well but those are not as critical you can try to use those to string together but as long as you can kind of string together that bottom right and bottom left group that comes in so you can see that right here I'm trying to keep them all together and I'm able to keep that killionaire going if you keep that killionaire going uh, pretty easily in the beginning off these weaker enemies you're gonna start off with a huge start to your gold star score and you're not gonna have to worry too much about the gold star as much as just kind of surviving and beating the mission after a little bit you're gonna start getting the elites to spawn in so obviously now we're gonna be using that focus rifle a lot more we want to kill 40 elites with that and then also the power cores are gonna spawn in and you have to destroy them before the pelican arrives so you've got two and a half minutes to kill the power cores and essentially what I like to do is to just go ahead and kill them immediately you can use the plasma pistol fully charged it only takes like a couple shots to kill them but I like to just get them off the board so that I don't even have to think about them I can just focus on enemies and focus on stringing together my killing spree so that I can get that gold star so I just kind of kill all of them so you'll see that'll check mark and that's not going to end the mission even though you take out all the power cores you still have to wait the two minutes for that pelican to arrive so now I've got that done 
gun. The other assault ops that you saw me work on right there is killing the suicide grunts with plasma grenades. That one's pretty annoying because there's really not a bunch of suicide grunts in this particular mission. Most of the grunts are just kind of normal plasma pistol wielding grunts. So unfortunately, you're not going to see a lot of those. But when you do, be sure you're throwing your plasma grenade at them and stick them as the best way to go ahead and take them out so you can work on that assault ops as you go. So you can see, you know, I've got a minute and a half left. I've already got a pretty decent score, right? I'm at 110,000. So at this point, my entire goal is to try and kill elites with my focus rifle, try and kill grunts as fast as possible, and string together things for killing sprees as best as I can. As long as you do that, you shouldn't have too much trouble with this mission. In fact, the most critical part to that gold score is the very beginning, right? When those grunts were coming from the bottom right and when the grunts were coming from the bottom left. Those are you know clearly to me the most critical part to getting gold score unless you're going to use a score boost like if you use a score boost obviously that's going to make everything a little bit easier um, but that's going to wrap it up i think i'm going to let this mission play out um, for the next 45 seconds or so i'll talk a little bit at the end but man this has been a super fun game y'all if you haven't played it i highly recommend it it is an older you know top down dual analog shooter but it is it is super fun um, i highly recommend you check it out if you haven't played it so let's finish off this mission and we'll have a couple closing remarks and uh, i'll see you at the end So we are at the end of the mission now. When you have that countdown to attach Davis' remains to the Pelican, uh, you do need to do that before that countdown ends. If that countdown gets to zero, you will fail this mission. So that's going to wrap it up for F5, the source, and Operation F, as well as the entire game. We've gotten Gold Star in every mission. We finished off all the assault ops. That should have netted you all the achievements. A couple miscellaneous achievements on the way. Um, if you want to go back and grab those, the Vidmaster ones. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, this was a blast. And hopefully, I'll see you around.